I lived in Aurora with my family, and my two brothers. And by the way, my brothers uh, all graduated from Aurora College also. But as a local student, uh, I really needed to have some financial means to pay for my education by staying at Aurora College and in Aurora. I was able to do that very easily with the type of jobs that were available. And I was considered a local student, and uh, I enjoyed Aurora College. Well, when I was growing up in Aurora, there was an elderly lady who lived across the street. And for years, I did odd jobs for her. I checked on her on a daily basis to find out if she needed anything, if she was all right. And uh, when I went to college, uh, she asked me where I was going, and I told her, I said I was going to Aurora College, and I'd still be around. And she said, well, that's no problem. She says, my son Clyde will look over you at college. And I said, well, okay. And uh, the Clyde turned out to be Clyde, Dr. Clyde Hewitt, uh, the registrar of the college. And he did what his mother said. He took care of me the whole time I was there and did exactly what she said and I'm really indebted mm -hmm. for the fact that he basically controlled the classes I took, the sequencing, to make sure that I got mm -hmm. classes that I needed to graduate. Now looking back after 45 years, it's, it's easy to see what the amazing people we were um, surrounded by but I have thought so many times about Dean Krause, about Dorothy Krause, how she knew from the very beginning that I was, well, maybe somewhat of a troublemaker. I, I liked to do pranks and I, I was a jokester. And um, I, I can't say how many times she came into Memorial Hall and I would hear on the squawk box, Janet Swartzans, would you please meet me in the lobby? She had to keep this bit of a stern. Her position was, this is not becoming of an Aurora College student. And a lot of people thought she was very stern, but she just, it was like she just had my number and, and like she just sometimes wanted to say, that was a good one. And as I grew, when I, when I came to Aurora College, I would say it was the first time I really felt purpose in my life. So as I grew, freshman year was pretty much lots of goofing around. And as Gary said, we all took the same core classes and everything. After that, each year, we all started to realize, you know, this is going to be <laughs> difficult. If, if we plan to stay here, there's going to be studying and we're going to have to choose the right classes. And um, I, I, I soon began to realize that I, I had a purpose and, and I knew what, what my reason was. I knew what the purpose for my life was and what I wanted to do with my life. Well, I think I, I got a first class education in business administration, economics, and finance. And I follow, I got into railroad management. I ran a passenger train, the Empire Builder, which is the premier train in, in Amtrak, the National Railroad Passenger Corporation. So it was quite an interesting job that I got into but Aurora College gave me the uh, background in, in counting, in finance, budgeting, um, from economics. Once you understand economics, you have to realize that you have to try and make a profit or break even. And once you understand how to do that, uh, you can be successful in your choice. And that, that's, what, that's what Aurora College did to me. It gave me the foundation to uh, go into those types of jobs and be successful over the years. But any place we went, they said, oh, you're from Aurora College. Good, you know, sign up. It had a wonderful reputation, and I would like to see that. I would like to see that to continue for AU.